send me some sorry lines But passion undying That the oceans can't subside Hello and welcome to Polymer Clay TV. Today we're talking about covering glass. It's an easy project and you can use almost any glass, but there are a few things that you do want to look for and I'm going to share those with you. First of all, these are some different sizes of salt and pepper shakers, so as you can see, if it's glass, you can cover it. But you do want to look for something that's completely smooth as far as the glass goes. You don't want any ridges because that's harder to cover. So let me move these aside and show you how you can just cover just simple ornaments that are glass that you can find at the craft store and you can just cover these with some canes and you can have a really cool ornament and with the holidays not that far away it's something to think of. These are just some of my canes that I've made over the years and I've pieced them on there. And something that you may not think about is old light bulbs because once they're done and they blow out you can still use them. And you can cover this with the clay and fire this in the oven. And then when once you fire it you can break out the glass and then you've got a neat, a neat uh, piece. Now I've covered everything from vases to uh, um, anything really I've covered with the clay because I just like the look of it. This is a um, cheese plate and as you can see you can serve cheese through it. And now you can completely cover this, you can cover pieces and you can, what I think is cool is since this is clear I would cover the underside so that you can see through it and see the designs and patterns through it, which is a cool piece. Here's a pair, pair of some bird salt and pepper shakers that I'm actually getting ready to. Now this has ridges and different, you know, things going on here, so I'm going to have to compensate for that. But it'll work. And this is actually a cheese plate that I covered with my canes. I just went a little crazy with this. <laughs> And it's just wooden underneath. But as the other one is glass, I think it would actually even be cooler because you could see the designs underneath. And this is another heart ornament that I've covered. So that'll give you some ideas. And it really is a simple project. Um, I do want to show you one technique that works for um, applying canes. And this is a cane that I made a while back. And I just want to cut a slice off. You don't need too thick. Let me move that away. So you can use either your brayer or you can use a rod. But to be honest, I prefer the brayer for this since it's almost the same size as my cane slices. So what I do, gently roll, start rolling the brayer across because what I'm trying to do is flatten it a little so that it makes it more uniform to apply to a piece of glass. And you can stretch the clay this way very easily. Now you come back in and use my fingers to stretch it and then you can just simply apply it to whatever glass or metal piece you'd like. And then I, you could piece it all around and you have a really cool ornament. This is a, a really cool vase that I found in my travels that is eventually going to be covered with uh, polymer clay. And uh, as soon as I get that done, I will definitely post on the website. I have to say that I used to sell these when I did the art shows, and they came in multiple colors, like there was a purple one, a blue, I want to say like a pink, and they sold like crazy. And this is the only one I have left, which I actually just found recently at a, I think a thrift store or something. So look around for neat objects that you can cover with clay, and have fun. Thanks so much for joining us. You send me some sorry lines But passion undying That the oceans can't subside